while the mainstream media are obsessed with your Boris Johnson issues and all the other drama that happens on a daily basis in Westminster, there are other stuff happening around the world, in our own continent, in Europe. The European Union are having a bit of a divisive period. Ursula von der Leyen is facing a motion of no confidence in her own establishment. Guy Verhofstadt, one of the loyalists, the federalists, is uh, sick and tired of her because clearly she's not a Europhile enough. It's like the Labour Party, every time they have a leader saying, well, he wasn't left-wing enough, so let's just pick another communist. Same thing happening with uh, uh, Guy Verhofstadt, who wants to create the United States of Europe, and apparently uh, von der Leyen is taking her time. She's, uh, there's an issue, of course, with uh, the European Union, the European Commission, and Poland and Hungary and those sort of countries. There's a lot of issues with uh, financial difficulties, and uh, they don't like the fact that countries like Poland and Hungary uh, try to do things that is in the interest of their own sovereignty. Uh, so they try to punish these countries. And Gibochat is in favor of punishing Poland and Hungary and all these other nations, because well, what's the point of having your own parliament? Um, they, they, they always claim that the best thing to do is to completely get rid of all the vetoes and try to have one United States of Europe. Now, Guy Verhofstadt has written to his colleagues saying, the last week, the European Commission has given a positive assessment of Poland's recovery and resilience plan, dispersing uh, 23.9 billion euros in grants and, of course, some of the some, rest of it is in loans in terms of the recovery uh, loan, despite the fact that Poland does not comply with the ECJ rulings and the rule of law. So they're not, they're not listening to our guidelines, so we shouldn't really give them the money. Uh, he continues by saying that the Commission is the guardian of the treaties responsible for the application of EU law under the control of the European Court of Justice. The EU values are a fundamental cornerstone of the Union and are not for sale. If von der Leyen and her Commission no longer fulfills its role as guardian of the treaties, Parliament should withdraw its confidence. What, what, what's this obsession with guardians? It's not guardian of galaxies, it's just the European Union. They, they don't really understand. And if you're going to uh, start some sort of turmoil in your own establishment, you're going to lose more member states. They're going to lose confidence in you. Now, uh, it sounds weird because it sounds like I'm defending von der Leyen. I'm not even defending her, but Guy Verhofstadt has completely lost his mind. <laughs> so he says that, therefore, we hereby launch a call for signatures for a motion of censure of the European Commission under Rule 127 of our Rules of Procedure. It will be submitted the moment the Commission transfers the next-gen gen funds to Poland. So basically, if, com if the Commission gives the money to Poland, then Kivovshad is going to uh, table the motion and launch the, the actual procedure uh, for the vote of no confidence in, in Ursula von der Leyen. Where is the BBC in all this, by the way? Where is Sky and BBC? I thought they like drama. I thought they like uh, the whole and uh, idea of a uh, no-confidence debate. Because they did it yesterday, the whole, whole of the media... We're focusing on Boris Johnson. Why, why not focus on von der Leyen? Because it's irrelevant that if we are a member of the EU or not, because we still talk about American issues. We still talk about when uh, Donald Trump was going through similar situations in the Senate. So why, why not talk about our second most, I don't know, biggest ally, the European Union? I'm not really sure how we should actually count them, but they do matter. So we need to know. People in this country need to know exactly what's going on in these globalist uh, platforms, but they're not going to tell you anything until something actually uh, well, escalates or kind of gets so big that they can't ignore. But we are here to disrupt the narrative of the mainstream media. So subscribe to the channel. We're going to come back in a half an hour. I'm my TCN. We are the media.